Hello everyone, welcome back to Autognition channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. In our last video, we focused on one of the essential skills for any test automation engineer, debugging in Selenium IDE. We explored setting breakpoints, stepping through test execution, and using the log panel to identify and fix issues quickly. We also demonstrated how to pause and resume tests for more control, helping you troubleshoot efficiently. If you haven't watched it yet, I recommend checking it out for solid foundation in debugging. Today, we are diving into something super practical for all you test automation enthusiasts, setting up the Selenium IDE command line runner. This is an essential tool if you want to take your Selenium IDE test cases to the next level by running them from the command line. Let's get started. First, a quick overview. The Selenium IDE command line runner allows you to execute your Selenium IDE tests outside of the browser, making it perfect for integrating with CI CD pipelines and running tests automatically. Before we can use it, there are few prerequisites we need to take care of. The first thing you need to have installed on your system is Node.js. The Selenium IDE command line runner is an NPM package, so the Node.js is required. If you don't already have Node.js installed, head over to nodejs.org and download the latest stable version. It's available for Windows, Mac and Linux. So just choose the appropriate version for your operating system. After downloading, install the Node.js by following the setup instructions. Once the installation is complete, open your terminal or command prompt and type node space hyphen v and npm space hyphen v to confirm the installation was successful. You should see the version numbers displayed correctly. With Node.js setup, we are ready to install the Selenium IDE command line runner. This is done via npm, the node package manager which comes bundled with Node.js. In your terminal or command prompt, run the following command npm install hyphen g selenium side runner. This command installs the runner globally so you can use it from any directory on your system. Next, you will need to have a web driver installed for the browser you want to run your tests on. If you are using Chrome, you will need a Chrome driver. For Firefox, you will need a Geeko driver and so on. Let's quickly go through how to set up Chrome driver as an example. To install Chrome driver, let's execute sudo npm install -g chrome driver command. Let's also execute Geeko driver for Firefox browser. To verify the installation, type Chrome driver version in your terminal. If everything is set up correctly, you should see the Chrome driver version displayed correctly. Let's also see the version for Geeko driver. Now that we have got everything set up, let's run our first test. Navigate to the directory where your side file is located and then execute the following command. So we have all our side files present in Selenium IDE folder. Let's execute Selenium IDE dot side. selenium side runner selenium id dot side it started executing the scripts
it executed all the suites present in the selenium id dot side file it first executed default suite later it executed login module suite and at last it executed control flow so it executed nine tests and out of nine all nine got passed and there you have it you have successfully set up selenium ide command line runner now you can run your selenium ide tests directly from the command line making your test automation process even more powerful and flexible if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow testers don't forget to leave any questions or comments down below and i will be sure to get back to you and if you haven't don't forget to subscribe to Autognizant for more test automation tutorials and tips. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.